Hello. Um, good evening, Maurice. Good evening, George. Let me see. Yeah, I think that. Can you hear me? Yes. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm okay. So, what about your day? How was it? How was your very, day? Very. Is it busy? Okay. It was busy. I imagine, right? Well, today is uh, Wednesday. We are in the middle of the week, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I think that you have a lot of things to probably deliver, different processes, right? Etc. Okay. So welcome uh, to our class number three. We are going to start uh, right now with the class, right? Because it's already eight. Um. Okay, George. So right now we are going to start uh, with the following, with the today, with today's agenda, right? For today's agenda, we have the warm up, we have a teamwork activity. I think that this one is going to be individually. We are going to work on the present perfect tense. We also have the listening quizzes. We have the grammar part, which is would rather and would much rather, yeah? And we also have the speaking time at the end of our class. So first of all, we are going to start with the warm up, and as a warm up, we have the following um, sentences. Okay, Maurice. Right now, what we are going to do is that we are going to try to create the sentences in present perfect. Okay. So, Maurice, yeah. sentence number one. Give me the sentence in the present perfect. For example, in this case, it should be. He has played the piano for five years. Look at that. He has oh. played the piano for five years. Okay. Okay, now what uh, about this? Uh, I have a talk to the doctor. Okay, but in this case, ours is the one that we have right here. Good evening, Tony. This one. Good evening. Yes, is this one number two? The children present perfect. Huh? The children. the children, we are creating a uh, present evening. tense. Um, good evening, Vladimir. Present, uh, present perfect tense sentences. Yeah, so in this case, number one was he has played the piano for five years. Yeah. What about number two? The children have been found oh, yeah. their homework. Mm, okay, so the children have oh, finished. 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 Yes, the, the pronunciation homework. finished. Finish. Finish. Uh -huh. What about number three? The, the football team have. Have or has? The football team. One. A uh, half. Has. Half. Won the championship. Won the championship six, six times. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, let's move to the next ones. So we have a question. Present perfect. Have. Uh -huh. have 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 your have you uh, have you have have you given given, given excellent have you given okay. your exam to the teacher okay yeah. Next, present perfect. The author write written a series. Mm, no. The auxiliary verb. You are missing the auxiliary has, verb. Has written has has 
The author has writing, written, 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 written a series written. of uh, history novels. Okay, next. My mom. My mom has made. Has made. Yes, very good. Next. Have you seen the new Marvel film? Excellent. Have you seen the new Marvel film? Excellent. Very good. Next. They have lived. They have lived here all their life. Next. Mm -hmm. We have loosened. loosened. Mm -mm. We have lost. We have lost. All yeah. right. We have lost the dog. Yes. What about this one? Uh, she has fly. She has flown. Flown to London three times this month. Uh, what about this one? I I have bought. I have bought a present for my sister's <laughs> birthday. Very good. Okay, let's move. What about this one? We negative. We have we haven't mm -hmm. seen her today. Excellent. We haven't seen her today. Excellent. Next. She has forgotten. Her phone at the her phone. Phone. Very good. What about this one? The dog, dog have broke, broke. Have broken. The dog have or the dog has? The dog have uh, broke. broken. Yes, the dog has broken its leg. Next. This is a question. Present perfect. Have you work, worked? Have you worked at this company for a long time? Okay, and let's continue with the last one. What about this one? Okay. Work. This is a, this is a. I, I have visited, have visited London, for, London time. for time. Excellent. I have visited London four times. Perfect. What about this one? I have had. I have, a, I have had a call. I, I have had a call since last week. What about this one? It hasn't it has, has stopped has, raining has all day. It hasn't stopped raining all day. Perfect. And this one? My brother hasn't driven, driven a car before driving a car before okay so in this case my brother hasn't driven driving. driven 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 okay pronunciation is driven. driven yes driven a car before very good yes okay and this is the present perfect yeah we already made a review yesterday and in this case um, we are going to continue with the following, okay? So what we are going to do is that we are going to take the present perfect practice. Yes, vamos a tomar la práctica. We are going to take it. Um, this practice is kind of long. It lasts around 20 minutes, okay? This is about verbs. This is about sentences. And this is about a short reading. Yeah, so you have verbs in present past and past participle. You also have reading and you have writing. 
am with the uh, practice that you are going to take. So now, let me ask you, would you like to take the practice alone or would you like to take it with your partners? With partners. With the partners, right? Okay, so um, I will assign you to a different room, okay? But okay, if you take it with your partner, do not use external resources. Do not use external materials. Do it with your partner, what you know, yes? Do not go online, I mean, on the internet. Just take it with the knowledge that you both have, yeah? Okay, so I'm going to send the link for you to take the practice. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Okay, there you go. That Good one is- driving. Okay, don't worry. I will be a listener. Okay, thank you, Atilio. So in this case, um, you are going to see this page, yeah? So even though, if you want, you can take it with your partner, you can add your names, or if not, take it alone, but with your partner, I mean, you need to, you will have your the support of your partner. So add your name, uh, your last name and then register. And then you are going to start the practice, yeah? Present perfect tense only, but you also have verbs, yeah? You also have verbs. So let me see, I will assign you, let me see, I'm going to create some rooms. If you want to take it alone, it's okay, all right? It doesn't matter, yeah? You decide. But if you want, uh, to take it with somebody else, it's okay. I'm going to assign you to a different room. My, my, I was sick yesterday. Sorry. Uh, can you repeat, please? Wait. Um, I give can hear you. Um, give me a second, please. Okay. So you were sick yesterday, Nelly. What do you have? Yes, um, headache. Headache? Headache, yes, headache. Headache, uh, it began uh, Monday at night. And um, yesterday at night, uh, I, I was feeling better, okay. but too late. <laughs> All right. And right now, do you feel, I mean, good in perfect conditions? Yes. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Um, yeah. Thank yes. you. Now, yes. Okay. It, sorry. Uh, I have some problems with the microphone. Ah, okay. Don't worry. It's okay. Nelly, just once again, the pronunciation is going to be headache. 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 With K, headache. Headache. Uh -huh. headache. Headache. Okay. Okay. Okay, very good. All right, guys. So if you want, you can take the quiz together, right? I mean, you can open it individually, but you can take it together to just like um 
getting support from your classmates if you don't remember something, okay? Yeah? Okay. Good. Perfect. All right. And pass participle? Uh, no, bring. Bro. No, bring. And then bro. Pass. Bro. The, pa the pass, simple pass. Bro. Hey, what is could, you, could you spell him, please? Bro. B, B R A R O U. U. G H T. P R O U. U. G H T. Bro. And that's participle. Uh, the same. Like bro. Okay. Yeah. Bro. Okay, can. Mm, can and pass. Buenas noches. Buenas. Good evening. Good evening, Wendy. Good evening, sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> can. Pass of can. Can. Can pass the can. Mm. I don't remember oh. what cold C O U L D. Oh, that can cold in the past, but in the past participle. I don't know. I don't remember. Spell, spelling the past, the can? Ah, cold. I, I want to uh, write in the chat. Cold. C O U L D. C O U L D. Cold. Cold. Uh -huh. Good. Yeah. And the part participle. Participle. Oh. Um. <laughs> Maybe. Cold, 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 and cold. Mm -hmm. I don't remember. Maybe it's the same. Cold, cold. Best participle of can and cold. Can, cold, cold. Is the same? Cold? Yes. The same? Yes, it's the same. It's the same. Yeah. I don't remember another combination of words, but in, in, in this case, it's the same. Okay. Yes. Okay. Choose. Okay. Elegir. Mm -hmm. Teacher, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Do we have to write it with capital letter? The first letter, yes. Okay. Si no, todo va a salir mal. Um, no, <laughs> I don't think so. Okay, but just to play safe, I would say that yes. Use the first letter. Okay. And uh, we can share the screen. You can't? I'm sorry. Share the screen. Ah, yes. We All can. right. Yeah. Now try again. Okay. Very good. Um, okay. Let me. Uh, it's the same in the tree. In the tree. Good. It's okay, good. Good and good. Good, good. And if you want to share the screen, you can do it, okay? I mean, I didn't activate it before, but okay. right now it is not. Yes. 
I try, okay. but I can't. Okay, yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. Draw. Let, let me see. Oh, okay. You can see my screen. Draw. Draw. <clears throat> Uh, the path of draw is draw, 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 and draw. Chosen. 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 What? What? Drew, drowned with a with item. Um, drowned is with a yes, uh, without yes. Felt. 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 Yes. Found. 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 This is work hard. Nope. Hurt, I think. Hurt, hurt. No, I, no, I think it's, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Indications. Write the correct form to of the present perfect for each verb given in parentheses. Mark. Of brown. Oh, it's brown. Three inches in the last six months. Elizabeth has catch it. Catched. Very cold this winter. Tom has uh, decided. Decided to join a health club. Si escribo mal me avisan. Rira. Sorry. No. Written a letter to Paul since the beginning of the semester. Paul wonders why Rita has not answered this letter. I have visited. Visited. Is it that now new new huh? no no like the okay. yeah it's correct like the present N. No. N. no 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 yeah yeah it's correct it's correct <laughs> no. <laughs> no new and no now. again w n with w n no 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 no, no. Uh, finish n but in the uh, uh after the k is an end or without yeah. n uh, n n after no. the K N. Okay. Now, o, w, now, N. New noun. Yeah. Okay. 
Ok, 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 ok. Just only have a recheck. Awake, awoke, awoken. Okay. Be become, became, become, become. become. Break, broke, broke, broken. Broke, broken. Bring, broke, broke. Broke, broke. Can, cold, can, cool, cold. Cool. Choose, chose, chose, chosen. Or chosen. Chosen or chosen? Okay. Chosen. Chosen. Um, los salvadoreños. Come on, Maris. Chosen. 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 Okay. Chosen. Okay. Chosen. Yeah. okay. Chosen. Choose. Chose. Chosen. Okay. Yeah. Cut, so, cut, cut. 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 Draw. 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 Eat. Eat. Mm -hmm. Feel, 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 feel. Find, find, phone, phone, and phone. phone. Heart, 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 heart. No, 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 new, new, no, no, no. no. Okay. okay. No. No. Okay. No. Ecole, así. No. Write yeah. the correct form of the present perfect for each verb given. In parentheses. Um, it is important to mention that you shouldn't use contractions, okay? That we use contractions. No, you you shouldn't. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. the long way, okay, the long way. The long way, okay. Mister Mark had grown. Has grown. Has grown. Grown. Like this. Lo revisamos o lo mandamos. Um, guys, you shouldn't. Uh, I mean, you shouldn't use contractions on the on the second part. Okay, you have not. Yeah, okay, yeah, you haven't used it. It's okay. Just the long way, no contractions. Okay. No. Okay. Has not. Has. Has not. Has not. Uh -huh. No. No contractions. Okay. Let me go here. Not has has not written uh, written written uh, with double with double T or one T. W T. Tony. Uh huh. Uh huh. In the in the second one. Okay. He said catch has uh, catch. Uh, Catch, yeah, yeah. incorrect. The word is correct. Incorrect. Couch. Couch. C a u u. Okay. Okay. Again, please. Again. C a u g h t. Okay. Again, please. With C, I, I want to start with C. C a. C a. No, A, A, ah. OK. Count. G, T, H, A, correct. Yeah. Elizabeth has count. Three yeah. cold this winter. Couch. Count. Count. A, correct. Count and catch. OK, OK. Tom has decided. Decided. It's correct? It's correct. It's correct. Okay. Rita has yeah, right written wrote wrote right please written wrote right I think that is written right is written yeah correct. Written, okay. Okay. Bicicleta. Uy, Lacha, qué largo está esto. Vale, okay. <ríe> ya Bye. no lo veas. <ríe> Paul wonders why Rich has not uh, has written. not has not ans answered answered his letters. Uh, 
Answer. Is correct. Answer. Okay. Yeah. ¿Todos están de acuerdo? Um, Más o menos. Uh, red. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Okay. I, I have visit, visited visited I New York City many times. Have has. No, I have. No, I have. I have. I have, I have visited. Visited. Visit. 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 Huh? Yeah, New York right. City many New York times. City many times. Me too. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Teresa yeah. and Anne talk. No, Teresa and Anne, we have talk, talk. talking. Teresa and Anne. Uh, because the two person is like we. And, those, and then is have. Have. Talking. Talking. Told. To their yes. land. Landlord. Yeah. What is land? What is the meaning of landlord? Landlord is a place. Teacher, what is the meaning of landlord? Landlord is a place? No. The landlord is the oh owner God. of a place, but in Spanish <laughs> is arrendador. Teacher, in this case, is 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 uh, talking or talking? Talk. 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 Yeah. Landlord is arrendador, el propietario, el que eh, es el arrendador de un lugar. Ok. Ok. Como, like, eh, uh, an example is el señor Barriga. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. yes, correct. <laughs> yes. Okay. He thinks he that thinks she that forgotten. She forgotten. She has, has, for, has forgotten. forgotten him. Okay. Yeah. Forgot, forget, oh, no. and forgotten. Okay, yes. Because, because of his. Of she this, have he has has given not given then yeah. with one you yes given yes. she has not given skin 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 no is is not piel. Is with W I skin. Mm -hmm. Skin. Skin. Mm -hmm. Ah, de esqui oh. ah, de esquiar, de esquiar. Mm -hmm. de, ah, ya, yeah, ya, yeah, ok. Es que pensé que era de piel y de, no, no, no leía. Ok. Aquí. Okay. My dog. Bury is like boring. Uh, no. Um, uh. It is like. In this case, es como esconder. Sorry. Don't worry. No. Es como esconder o como enterrar. Boring. Es enterrar. Ok. I know, I don't know the word. Ajá, this one is the simple path, is different. I mean, it's not different, but you need to follow one of the rules that we learn for the simple pass Puri, Puri me dijo entonces era como esconderse como esconder o enterrar ah ok, my dog has uh -huh. esta es nueva, Puri Puri very, very, very Puri y se pronuncia very Buried. La U es, es muda. Como una ja, como una E. Ajá. Buried. 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 Ok. Many bones. No, oh, ya tiene sentido. Ha enterrado, ha ocultado. Ajá. Correct. Mm, ok. But the spelling is just one R. 
Burial. No doble. Uh -huh. Bar uh -huh. Burial. 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 Or burial. Just one R. Bear ah, okay. In, in the... Ajá. Uh -huh. no, okay. The film. Okay, okay. Yes. Burial. Okay. okay. Burial okay. many months. Read the following story. Short story and answer the questions. Okay. Uh, yeah, please help me to read something. Anyone else? Mauricio or Wendy or ha, ha, Luis Miguel, hi, how are you? Or Carlos Omar. I wanna read. Okay. Okay. Indication. Read the following yes. short story and answer the questions. I have just received a letter from my brother, Tim. He is in he is in Australia. He's he has been there for six months. Tim is an in, engineer. Engineer. He, engineer. He is working for a bit fear firm uh, and has already visited many different places in Australia. He has just bought an Australian car and has gone to Alice Springs, a small town in the center of Australia. He will soon visit Darwin. From there, he will he will fly to, to Perth. Sure. My brother has never been abroad before, so his trip is very exciting for him. Abroad is in in the, in another country and okay <laughs> correct okay where has Tim been for six months in Australia Australia okay what has he brought a car a car what is what? Alice, Alice Springs, Springs? Alice Springs, a small a town, small town a small in town. the center of center. Australia. A small town. Mm -hmm. Okay. Please, teacher, um, could you help us to check the the sentences, please? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So a let me ground has caught, has decided. Caught, has decided. Mm -hmm has not right. written. written yes uh, why has not answered not yes okay. i have visited yes teresa and Anne have okay. talked oh. yes. mm -hmm. uh -huh. he thinks that she has forgotten him oh. yes because of this she has not given, given. given. oh <laughs> mm -mm. gave Money won't like. No, the verb is go. Verb is ah, not give. Ah, okay, okay, okay. If the verb is go, says not went. Mm. No. Or go on. go gone gone. Mm -hmm. Has not gone. Skin since December. Since Four. gone. Gone. gone, 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 gone. Gone. Uh -huh. gone. But the spelling is correct. Let me see. G -O -N -E. Gone. Gone. Yes. Okay. Has and has buried. Yes. Has buried. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. I'm going to send uh, to all my partners the screenshot of every part. Okay. You can also download a, a, a copy of that exam if you want at the end, right? But I don't ah, know. Ah, okay, 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 okay. I yeah. Don't know. Okay. It's so nice, but I'm going to share with Mm -hmm. My record. The last one. Mm -hmm. Okay.
and your notes, 100. <laughs> okay. I'm going to send my test. Uh, submit. Yes. Oh okay, my gosh. Let, let's. <laughs> okay, Danny, let me see. Ask out. Oh, what is what is bad? How uh, this is the only one that uh, we have bad. Yes, it's because of the spelling. It's because of the spelling. I mean, uh, it should be H T. Correct. Oh, oh, gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, sorry, Paul. <laughs> don't worry. Okay, don't worry. How H T and T H? Teacher, what is the differentiation? Uh, what is uh, how the can I um find the correct way to uh write the words when is T H and H T? Mm. It depends the word. Yes, on that it one, yes. Memorize, memorize yeah. everyone. Yes, but in this case, I mean, um, yes, only learning the word by heart. There is no other way. That did not. It, it, it doesn't have a, a rule. No, so, okay. no, they don't. They don't have any rule. But most of the of the words, I mean, they end in H T and no T H, right? Most of them, but yeah. Okay. This is only wrong. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, let me see. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, have the 100%. Okay. Okay. All right. Perfect. So let's see, guys. Let's go back because we're going to take the listening ones. Okay. And then we're going to continue with our class. Let's go back. Okay. All right. See you. See you. All right. So let me see. Uh -huh. Hi, Carlita. Hi, Nianel. Hi. <laughs> yes, yeah, right. All of them. All right, guys. So we're going to take the listening quiz. I already uh, saw this course, right? And I mean, some of you have the, the answer correct, but you use contractions, right? I mean, but if you, if you use contractions, it's okay. If the answer is correct, it's correct, right? So then we need to be more careful with some of the verbs because I can see here that we have failed basically on choose, right? Uh, also in can, eat. Those are the ones that I can see that some of you got incorrect and some of you didn't add um the past participle right let me see mm -hmm. yes choose eat and can those three were the ones that were kind of difficult for you i think then the other ones excellent okay um perfect the reading was really easy i think Okay, so now let's take the first listening quiz. Um, there you go. This is the link. And the passcode is going to be listening. Okay, listening. Let me know once you are ready so I can uh, play the recording. Let's see this one is zero, zero, two, four. Okay. Let me know once you are ready so I can play the, the, the audio. Let me feel second chair, please, 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 please. Okay. I'm going to play it uh, two times. This one is released. Okay, ready? ready? Okay, here we go, guys. Here we go. Next, uh, your passport, please. Okay. Uh, what is the purpose of your visit? 
I'm here to attend a teaching convention for the first part of my trip, and then I plan on touring the capital for a few days. And where will you be staying? I'll be staying at a room at a hotel downtown for the entire week. And、uh, what do you have in your luggage? Um, well, just just my personal belongings,、um, clothes, a few books, and a CD player. Okay.、Um, please open your bag. Sure. Okay, everything's fine. Great.、Uh, by the way, is this your first visit to the country? Well, yes and no. Actually, I was born here when my parents were working in the capital many years ago. But this is my first trip back since then. Well, enjoy your trip. Thanks. Okay. Again, here we go. Next,、uh, your passport, please. Okay.、Uh, what is the purpose of your visit? I'm here to attend a teaching convention for the first part of my trip, and then I plan on touring the capital for a few days. And where will you be staying? I'll be staying at a room at a hotel downtown for the entire week. And、uh, what do you have in your luggage? Um. Well, just just my personal belongings.、Um, clothes, a few books, and a CD player. Okay.、Um, please open your bag. Sure. Okay, everything's fine. Great.、Uh, by the way, is this your first visit to the country? Well, yes and no. Actually, I was born here when my parents were working in the capital many years ago. But this is my first trip back since then. Well, enjoy your trip. Thanks. Okay. Would you like me to play it the last time? Yes. Here we go.、Yes. Okay. Next,、uh, your passport, please. Okay. Uh, what is the purpose of your visit? I'm here to attend a teaching convention for the first part of my trip, and then I plan on touring the capital for a few days. And where will you be staying? I'll be staying at a room at a hotel downtown for the entire week. And、uh, what do you have in your luggage? Um, well, just just my personal belongings,、um, clothes, a few books, and a CD player. Okay.、Um, please open your bag. Sure. Okay, everything's fine. Great.、Uh, by the way, is this your first visit to the country? Well, yes and no. Actually, I was born here when my parents were working in the capital many years ago. But this is my first trip back since then. Well, enjoy your trip. Thanks. Okay. The last part、uh, is not clear for me. The last one.、Uh, the last one. The, the last. Uh, the, ah, okay. The, yeah. I'm going to replay it, but in this case, you need to pay attention to extra information that she gives. Uh huh. Okay. Let's see. Next,、uh, your passport, please. Okay.、Uh, what is the purpose of your visit? I'm here to attend a teaching convention for the first part of my trip, and then I plan on touring the capital for a few days. And where will you be staying? I'll be staying at a room at a hotel downtown for the entire week. And、uh, what do you have in your luggage? Um, well, just just my personal belongings,、um, clothes, a few books, and a CD player. Okay.、Um, please open your bag. Sure. Okay, everything's fine. Great.、Uh, by the way, is this your first visit to the country? Well, yes and no. Actually, I was born here when my parents were working in the capital many years ago. But this is my first trip back since then. Well, enjoy your trip. Thanks. Okay. She's back. She's back.、Mm -hmm. I got. Jose, I go. Carla, I go. Nelly, I go. Sandra, I go. Jonathan, I go. Carlos, Emerson, okay. Juan Antonio, Elias, okay. Eduardo, Franco, okay.、Mm -hmm. All right.、Mm, Carlos, Mar, okay. Maurice, okay. All right, guys. Let's see, Raúl. Okay. 
All right. So now we are going to take the other one um, after we finish with the grammar part. Okay. So we still have one. All right, guys. So we're going to start by talking about the information and the topic from the book. And today we are going to start learning about the market saturation. Yeah. So who wants to read, guys? Who wants to read? Okay, thank you, Carla. It refers to wait, refers to a situation in which a particular market or industry has reached its maximum potential in terms of customers' demand, sales, and over overall growth. Uh, when the market becomes saturated, it becomes in <gasps> increasingly <laughs> increasingly ch ch ah. <laughs> challenging, increasingly challenging for companies to attract new customers and drive additional sales. This saturation can be a res result of uh, various factors such as market maturity uh -huh. market ma maturity yes. <laughs> limit target audience uh -huh. in terms competitions in declining demand yes demand. all right thank you all right first of all pronunciation guys do not forget about the ed ending okay so it says that the market saturation refers to a situation in which a particular market or industry has reached its maximum potential in terms of customers' demand, sales, and overall growth. Yeah. When a market becomes saturated, ID, saturated, it becomes increasingly challenging for companies to attract new customers and drive additional sales. This saturation can be a result of various factors such as market maturity, limited ID, limited target audience, intense competition, and declining demand. Yeah, so basically in simple words, market saturation is basically when a company has reached its maximum potential in terms of customer demand, yeah? Now, when we say that um, we have many factors that can influence, we mentioned four. Let's go one by one in order for you to learn more about it right? So we have market maturity, intense competition. When we say market maturity, what do we mean? Can you please help us reading this information, Emerson? And then intense competition, please, Nelly. Market maturity is a market maturity. It's tend to reach a point where most potential customers have already been targeted and at acquired this often acquired this often occurs in industries that have been established for a long time and have a exceptional significant growth in the past in the past in the past okay experienced experience targeted targeted targeted, targeted. 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 Okay. Yes. Okay. Intense competition. Intense competition when multiple companies are operating within the same market, each buying for their share of customer, it can lead to market saturation. The competition becomes fierce and companies struggle to differentiate themselves and capture new customers new customers okay this word differentiate differentiate yes okay perfect 
All right, guys. So as you can see, we have market maturity. Okay. I mean, is whenever a market um, tends to reach a point where most potential customers have already been targeted and acquired. Market maturity, right? Intense competition is whenever we have multiple companies, okay, that are operating within the same market, the intense competition. And we have many examples, right? Many, many, many examples. So we also have limited target audience. Um, Luis Miguel, can you please help us reading this information? And Tony, declining demand. Okay. Is Luis Miguel there? I think that he's having issues with the internet probably. Uh -huh. Then, yeah, Mayra, are you there? We cannot hear you, Mayra. No, I think that your microphone is failing probably. Hola. Yes, much better. Hola, hola. Yes. Okay. Limited target. Yes. Okay. Limited target audience. Some mm -hmm. products or service have a rel rel relatively mm -hmm. small target audience. And once that audience has been reached, it's become difficult to expand the future. For example, Niche luxury products may have a limited customer base that is quickly exhausted. Okay. Decline in demand. Yes. Change in customers' preferences, economic conditions, or technological advancements can lead to a decline in demand for a particular product or service, contributing to market saturation. Yes, okay. So guys, basically a uh, limited target audience, as you can see right there, uh, is whenever uh, a market has a really a small target audience, right? You cannot reach a lot of customers for the limited target audience that you may have. The decline in demand, well, we already know that that one is part of the life cycle of a product. Yes, Tony, tell me. Teacher, when you say uh, niche luxury products, oh, is, um, we talk about uh, a un nicho de lujo específico. Correct. In this case, niche. just uh, for pronunciation, niche. Niche, okay, yes. niche, okay. Yeah, yeah, but it's what you mean. Yeah, that is the correct interpretation, right? Okay. Perfect. So now let's move and let's talk about the following, okay? So uh, as we may know, guys, dealing with market saturation can be challenging for businesses. But there are strategies that can help navigate this situation. Let's look at some approaches to consider. Can you please help us reading all of them, um, Maurice? Well, the first five, Maurice, the first five. Perfect. Yes. Uh, the market diversification. Mm -hmm. Product difference. Differentiation. Okay. Target new customer segment. Mm -hmm. And change customer loyalty. Okay. Innovation and product development. 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 Thank you. Uh, Jose? Okay. Those five, the last okay. three. Stry strategic partnerships and collaborations, mm -hmm. international expansions, 
uh, continuous improvement and cost optimization, focus on customer experience, brand building and marketing. Thank you. All right, guys. So let me ask you something, okay? When we say those are strategies, yeah, to deal with this type of situation when it comes to the market saturation, those are strategies that we can implement when it comes to marketing. So whenever we say market diversification, what do you think that means? What comes to your mind? Uh -huh. Give me an example or explain that in your own words. Yeah, maybe, maybe they create um, products for different uh, different types of market. Okay. Okay. When we say product differentiation, what do we mean? Um, it is a product with a uh, uh, different characteristic, uh, characteristic than than other product. Maybe uh, better quality and uh, different designs or something okay. like that. Very good. Then characteristics. Okay, Ca characteristics. Uh -huh. Characteristics. Yes, all right. And when we say target new customer segments, what do maybe, we mean? Maybe when when one singular product, an example, uh, the ice cream have a different niches niches niche of, of a niche of people that they like. Uh, an example is. Uh, Boston Pops versus mm -hmm. Sarita or versus La Neveria. Mm -hmm. um, La Neveria is uh, made for uh, people that think that the ice cream is a good um, a, a good uh, uh, dessert, but with lower prices. Mm -hmm. And Boston Pops is a good dessert, like the ice cream, but uh, but with better quality because they say in her logo, premiums ice cream. And Sarita is in the middle. Yeah. It's not so high for, for uh, sophisticated tongues or, or, or tastes, tastes. Mm -hmm. yes. but it's so accessible or affordable with, All with right. good, good quality. Perfect. Okay. Excellent. And now when we say enhance customer loyalty, what comes to your mind? That that one is a strategy, it says, right? That enhancing customer loyalty is a strategy. So what do we mean by that? Enhance customer loyalty, a strategy. Yeah. Maybe when the company uh, offers a different promotion for mm -hmm. a spe specifically uh, market or people. Yes, right. For so. example, it's only for you, only for this day, for you, maybe. Okay, we can enhance customer loyalty in that way. Yes, could be. Offering promotions, good deals, right? So the customer feels that, I mean, appreciated, right? Yes. And what about innovation and product development? How can we um, describe this type of a strategy, right? So what is it? What is innovation and product development? It's like um, create a new product with um, different new characteristics. 
characteristic characteristics and um, maybe new new in the market you know an example nelly maybe a, a new phone with uh, some innovation characteristic okay very good yes what about a strategic partnership and collaborations what do you think about that one when two brands work together okay uh -huh. or when the marks work with artists for example Bershka and Visa de Rap right now yes that is correct uh -huh. yes that is correct. International expansion. Mm -hmm. When you decide to uh, sell your product in in other country? In other countries, yes. Very good. Now, what about the strategy continuous improvement and cost optimization? I think this is uh, the strategy the all companies do for have more of utilities when you have make uh, products. Yes. The cost optimization. Somebody else? Uh -huh. Okay, so what about focus on customer experience? Why do you think this strategy is important? Oh, or how can we put into practice this type of strategy when we are dealing with market saturation? Why is it important? How can this strategy be um, something good for a business? Because it's important to uh, know about the preference to customers and uh, the brand have to work uh, with that ideas or opinions mm -hmm. for be, being better. For being better. Also. Yes. Okay. Very good. Yes. Okay, and the um, customer experience, it involves also customer service, right? The customer experience. That's why some businesses, they do focus on the customer service, right? That's why actually uh, companies in the US, they do focus on customer experience. Yeah, because that one is very crucial. And what about brand building and marketing? How can this strategy help a company to deal with market saturation? Brand building and marketing. Mm -hmm. When one company um, has focus in explore or expand the the brand, the logo, and the characteristics of the of the um, of the company. Uh, maybe an example is Coca Cola. Okay. Uh, they have more focus in in her logo and and situations that um, expose to feel better with one coke that. Mm -hmm when you are without a coke mm -hmm. uh, um, and and this is a, a, a opportunity to to um, generate a better demand or are more top of mind of the brand mm -hmm. 
Okay, yes, right? So when it comes to brand building and marketing, it involves a lot of things, yeah? Mm -hmm. It's how the company will be seen, okay? From others' perspective and all of that, right? Very good. Those are some strategies, guys. So you can have an idea, right? About the strategies in marketing, yeah? Okay, so now let's talk about the following. Okay, so let's see. We have a short uh, role play right here. I need one volunteer to be Rina and the other one is going to be Julio. Okay, who wants to participate? Me teacher. Me teacher. Okay, uh, Maris, please be yeah. Rina and Luis Miguel be Julio. Okay. The sale is in last two months. We're growing really fast, but now they're decreasing. Decreasing, yes. Decreasing. You're right. Although it is no surprise with this competition. Mm -hmm. yeah, I agree. We must figure it a solution to deal with market saturation. Many companies will prefer to withdraw the product, you know. However, we have in, in invested, invest, invested, invested a, a lot in this product. We'd rather relaunch the product than discontinue it. Yes, okay. And look at that. Uh, I mean, some companies do that, right? They relaunch Re with yeah. uh, more characteristics, right? With more features. Now, let's talk about this one. Based on the information from the conversation, guys, let's choose if this is true or false. If a company withdraws a product from the market, not temporarily, they discontinue it. Is that true or false? They discontinue it. So they stop selling it. True or false? If a company withdraws a product. What is a synonym for yeah. withdrawal? Uh -huh. This, uh -huh, um, retire? Uh, retrieve it, right? To yeah. take it away. Hmm. Okay, retired is a um, retirado, is como jubilado. Ah, no, okay. Jubilado, okay. yeah. Okay. Yes, it's true. It is true, right? Mm -hmm. Number two, if sales decrease, they stop growing. True or false? True. True, of course, right? And number three. Rina's first option to solve the situation is to relaunch the product. True or false? True. That is it's true. true. It is Be true. Sure. The yes. contraction was we rather. It's we had rather. Oh no, that one is we would. Uh, we would. Yes. Ah, we. With we have is with. With, yeah. Okay, with, with, have rather is like a, nosotros en lugar debemos de. Uh, it's like, so, yes, we can interpret that or we can say, we would rather relaunch. Preferimos o preferiríamos relanzarlo. Um, we will, we we would uh -huh. possibly right. okay. yes okay very good so now guys let's uh work on those questions that we have at the top okay so first thing that i would like to mention is about this do you know what are first competitors what are first competitors in the market uh, let me see Help us reading this information, Jose. 
Uh, okay, teacher. First competitors are companies or organizations that aggressively compete within the same market or industry. These competitors are character characterized by their determination to gain a larger market share, capture more customers, and outperform their rivals. They are often highly motivated, strategic, and willing to invest significant resources to achieve their goals. Yes. Okay. Uh, all right. <laughs> Tell me. Okay. So in this case, fierce competitors, guys, in Spanish would be fierce means feroz. It's like so, a... fierce competitors, competidores feroces. Yes. It, uh -huh. it, sorry, 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 sorry. Go, go, Luis. It is, uh, for example, in the United States, uh, for two, two brands, uh, Ford and Chevy, they are very fierce in, in the advertising. Yes. Also Coca-Cola and Pepsi. Yes. Those are fierce competitors, right? It is really nice to see the advertising. Yeah. So basically, guys, uh, fierce competitors are those type of companies or organizations that aggressively compete within the same market or industry. Okay. They are often highly motivated, strategic, and willing to invest significant resources to achieve their goals. Um, here in the country, which companies do you think are fierce competitors here in the country? <clears throat> <laughs> My company. <laughs> Your company, yes, I know, Luis Miguel. Yeah, I know, yeah. Tony. <laughs> yes, okay. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. We are the best. Sorry. <laughs> okay. All right. I think two. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, guys. Yes. Which other company? <laughs> <laughs> Probably the blue guys. <laughs> All right. Yes. Of course, Ryan. Mm hmm. Super Selectors and Walmart. Yeah. Well, Walmart and Defensa de Don Juan and uh, Defensa Familiar, that is the companion of the three. Yeah, Perfect. yes, of course. And when it comes to restaurants? Well, I, uh, in this moment, uh, Pollo... Uh, and Pollo Campero. No, 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 los otros, los pequeños. The little one. No, it's no. Con pollo. Con pollo. Con pollo. Con pollo. Con pollo. Con pollo. Y Capulín, no me recuerdo cómo se llama el otro. Pinolito. El pollo también. Pinolito. Pinolito, Pinulito, yes. ok. Yes. Mm, yes, I have heard a lot about Pinolito. I have heard a lot. Yes, mm -hmm. yes because uh, two YouTubers uh, shared uh, one video compared that what products? Oh, that is good, right? La tecleña and bam bam. La tecleña and bam bam. Uh -huh. o, o el rosario too. El rosario as well. Also, I I don't know when it comes to um when it comes to burgers, I think that is um McDonald's, McDonald's versus Burger King and Wendy's. And Wendy's. This is a triangle that that. that yes. Dennis. Dennis uh, as well. Dennis. Mm, uh -huh. Wendy, Dennis Wendy is another market, but it's uh -huh. between Wendy's and McDonald's, they, they put advertising in front of the restaurant. <laughs> yes, that is true. It, mm -hmm. it also uh, Econopars and Super Repuestos. Uh, if, right. if you see one one Super repuestos and a few meters. <laughs> they built a new store mm -hmm. in front of the competition. Yeah. In here, este, in Freo, uh, uh, what's it? Of Epa. 
Ah, yeah. Brown and Epa. And Vidri. Vidri as well. Bidu. Yes. Bidu. <laughs> okay. So those are fierce competitors. And do you think that um, is this good or bad? Is fierce competition good or bad? What do you think, guys? It's good because the market have benefits to the customers. The first uh, and the most important um, uh, benefit to the customer is lower prices. Mm -hmm. uh, I try to explain problem. this in English, but help me. Okay. I, I, I need you to help. Yes. In, in nuestro país no se puede tener una competición así por temas de leyes. No se puede atacar al... al, al, al a la otra empresa, como lo hacen en Estados Unidos. Ok. So we cannot have this fair competition. Uh -huh. Yes. Ok. Only people, Luis. What? <laughs> Only people. Just people, yeah. right? Yeah. Yes, people. All right. Uh -huh. Ok, Atilio, help us reading this paragraph. Ok. The first computation goods are bad. Mm -hmm. First computation can be both challenging and beneficial for business. It is late innovation, try companies to improve their products and service. And ultimately, mm -hmm. yes. Yes, ultimately. Uh -huh. Customer tools increase choice and value. Mm -hmm. However, it also requires requires business, requires business to be again agile. Agile? Agile, adaptable and continuous. Continuously? Continuously monitor the competitive landscape to maintain try my maker position. Okay, so now let's work on pronunciation, guys. Yeah. So first of all, fierce competition, competition. Yeah, competition. competition. Yes. Businesses, businesses, because it's plural. Businesses. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And let me see which, uh, well, this one requires agile, agile, adaptable, adaptable, yeah, and landscape. So, what you mentioned before, yes, I mean, fierce competition is good, is good, right? But in this case, Fierce competition is not for all of the companies, right? Why not? Because it requires businesses to be agile, adaptable, yeah, and continuously monitor the competitive landscape to maintain their market position. So fierce competition is not for everybody. Yes. Yes, right? Mm -hmm. All right, perfect, guys. So then um, let's move right now. Let's move. And we are going to start with the grammar part. But first, I'm going to take the attendance. Yeah, I'm going to take the attendance. So say present once you hear your name. And here we go. Atilio Ernesto Castillo. Present, teacher. Thank you. Carlos Omar Linares. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Eduardo Franco. Present teacher. Present. Thank Present. Thank you. Emerson <laughs> Ulises Monroy. Present miss. Thank you. Fátima Gabriela Loza. Fátima. Jonathan José González Domínguez. Present. Thank you. Jorge Antonio Sánchez Quiñones. 
George. Let's see if he's said present. Okay, thank you. Uh, Jose Bernardo Lopez Montes. Present. Thank you. Juan Antonio Elias Flores. Present, teacher. Thank you. Juan Jose Herrera Alvarenga. Juan Jose. Okay. Kenia Elizabeth Rodriguez Celaya. Present teacher. Kenia. Carla Sofía Argueta Chévez. Present. Thank you. Luis Miguel Corbera Enríquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Present teacher. Thank you, Maurice. Uh, Mayra Cecilia Peña de Aparicio. Thank you. Nelly Lilibeth Andrade Garcia. Present. Thank you. Raul Antonio Jordan Miranda. Present. Thank you. Sandra Abigail Bonilla Cano. Present. Thank you. And Wendy Maricela Ramirez Guevara. Present, teacher. All right, thank you. Okay, guys, let's continue and we're going to continue with the grammar topic. This one is um, actually a grammar topic that we covered last uh, month, but probably you don't remember, okay? Today, we are going to focus only on would rather in positive sentences and would much rather, okay? So let's see. We have the explanation from the book. So I need volunteers to read. Yeah, and Nelly, help us reading, please. This the left side, and Mayra the right side of this information. Okay, go, Nelly. Okay. Use would rather a uh, clause based on a verb. Many companies would rather without the product. You know, we would rather relaunch the product that discontinued. Discontinued. Excellent. Yeah, I think that that the the microphone Maya is not working properly. But Sorry. but can you hear us? Can you listen to me? Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. So, guys, we have would rather plus the base form of the verb, and we also have the contraction, right? Which is uh, they'd or we'd or she'd or he'd. It depends on the pronoun, right? And we have the examples, as you can see right here. Now, this one is the one that we covered last month. I don't know if you remember, okay? But we covered would rather and would prefer. If you remember about that class, so it is the same, yeah? Then, but we have this one, which is would much rather. When do we use this type of, you know, uh, expression? because it's not a tense, it is an expression. So we use this type of, uh, of expression for a stronger preference, yeah? This form is more common in speaking than in writing. And we will see some examples so you can understand it better, yeah? We have two examples. Can you please help us reading those two examples, uh, Carlos? Use the much rather. Yes, and the examples. Okay, something went wrong with with the R in the levels of the product. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll much rather hire a different designer. Okay. Wearing green tortricas cannot compete with the low price of the other cheat. With much rather. Lower, lower, lower our price. Our price. Okay, guys. So, well, in this case, what is the meaning of labels? Labels? Um, like uh, when you show the price 
rótulos o etiquetas? Etiquetas, excellent, okay? Labels, etiquetas. So, as you can see right here, it says something went wrong with the art in the labels of the product. I'd much rather hire a different designer. So now, what is the meaning of would much rather? Let's go with this first, okay? So we have would rather. So we use would rather, okay? Would rather is used to decide a preference when making a choice among different options. And we have the structure. We have subject, would rather, verb in base form, and complement. Yeah. Wendy, can you please help us reading the uh, three examples? Wendy Maricela? <coughs> she is not there. Okay, so Carla Sofia? Right. <laughs> uh, yeah. Examples. Please. I would rather do my homework at noon. She would rather stay at home. Mm -hmm. We would rather play basketball. Thank you. All right. So guys, um, as you can see, it's like saying preferiría. Yes. I would rather do my homework at noon. Yo preferiría hacer mi tarea por la tarde. Yeah, she would rather stay at home. We would rather play basketball. So you prefer doing that, yes? Es preferiría. Now, what happens whenever we have would much rather? What do you think? It says that we can use much with would rather to make the Preference is stronger. In speaking, we stress much. Yeah. And we should say, I or I would, whatever you want. It could be the contraction or it could be the long way. Yeah. So I'd much rather make a phone call than send an email. Preferiría hola. mucho más. Hola. Yes. Hola. Hello. Yes, we can hear you now, eh, Mayra. Yes. So I much rather make a phone call than send an email. It's like saying, yo prefiero más, preferiría más hacer una llamada a enviar un correo electrónico. Yeah. So you give this intensity. You intensify your idea, your opinion, your thought. Yeah. And we have, we'd much rather buy a brand new computer. Nosotros preferiríamos mucho más comprar una computadora completamente nueva. Okay. I would much rather remain at home. Preferiría mucho más quedarme en casa. So the much gives the intensity. Yeah, and we have the common one, which is would rather. But if you want to give this type of intensity to your idea, we need to use much in the middle of would and rather. Mm -hmm. Do you have any questions? What questions do you have? Do you have any type of um, doubt? Something that is not clear. If Teacher, not, I huh? have one. 
Uh, you say that this um, uh, this phrase or, or this ex explanation, no, not explanation, is a, a expression. This expression is only for tall, not for right. Why? Why? Why do we exclude the the in in the right in the right option uh, uh, and why is only for toggle for for uh, for speaking for speaking uh -huh. um okay so a, a irregular no no it's irregular maybe because it's a um informal 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 way it is because it it is informal i mean it is not something that we consider that is formal right like gonna. correct that's okay. why I mean, it is better to use it in a speaking, but I mean, you can use it in writing. Yeah, you you can use it, but it's not something formal. Okay, okay. Yeah. okay. very good. Any other doubt? If not, think about something that you would much rather, all right? Think about something. I'll give you one minute and I will ask, okay? For your sentence. Okay, so let's see. Um, let me see. Carla, can you give us your idea? Uh, one second. Yeah, one sentence. Mm, I much rather uh, stand at six. Okay. Dance than uh, cold. Thank you. Okay. Pronunciation. Okay. I'd much rather. I. Bless you. I. I. Yes. I would much rather. I would much rather. Rather. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Rather. Thank you, Carla. Um, Atilio. Yes. Give us your example. Um, I would much rather. I would much rather. I home weekend. Okay, I would much rather stay at home on the weekend. Stay, stay at stay. home on the week on the weekend. Excellent. Oh. On the weekend, uh, Emerson. I would much rather cup coffee than cup of tea. I would much rather have a cup of coffee than a cup of tea. Okay. Yes. Don't forget the verb. Okay. The verb goes okay. after rather. Yes. Uh, Mayra Cecilia. Yes. I would much rather live in another country. <laughs> okay. I would much rather live in another country. Okay, thank you. Nelly? I think that you are muted, Nelly. I would much rather drive a car than a motorcycle. Than a motorcycle, okay, perfect. Tony? I would much rather make a travel to Yellowstone than see pictures in the internet internet on the internet very good maris i would <clears throat> i would much rather uh read a book 
the watch television. Okay, very good. Yes, okay. And so much rather, guys, okay? Would much rather. Now let's move to the exercises that we have. Okay, we need to rearrange the sentence. We need to rearrange it, yeah? So let's see. Number one, what do you think is the correct structure for number one, which is the correct idea? Tell me. The manager. The manager, okay, the manager. Would rather ask to design a relaunch of the product. No, no, the creative team are relaunch of the product. Okay, so the ma okay, the manager uh -huh. would rather ask uh -huh. to design. Not exactly. The manager, the manager to design the, the creative team. Okay. The, the manager team. would rather ask the creative team. Porque a ellos le va a preguntar al creative team. El que le va a preguntar. To design a relaunch of the product. Correct. To design a relaunch of the product. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. What about number two, which is the complete idea for number two? Many distributors will much rather. Would much rather. Would much rather. Okay, would much rather. Would much rather. Sell. Would much rather sell our products. Okay, sell. Sell our products. At the, at the lower price. At yeah. a lower yeah. price. Very good. Okay. No. No. Mm, I'm not really sure, guys. And let me mention this because I'm, I don't remember. Okay. But I, I'm not really sure if on the platform, you have this type of sentence, the number two, and there is a mistake, yeah? But I'm not sure if you are going to encounter this mistake on the platform. Yes, teacher, the, in the platform, uh, we have a uh, would rather match. Correct, and that is not correct, okay? That is incorrect. So, yes, I, I also correct it right here because it's the same on the book, but the correct structure is going to be would much rather. Would rather much doesn't exist. Okay. So, but on the platform, you need to add would rather much in order for the platform to uh, let you go to the next uh, activity. Yeah. This is just for you to know. I'm going to report that, yeah? Okay, now let's move in number three. Mm -hmm. They will rather withdraw. They would rather withdraw. Withdraw the product. The product, okay. That introduces it in new market. Then 
introduce it. Introduce it in, in new, market. new markets. Uh -huh. Correct. Yes. Very good. Number four. <coughs> Many companies. Many companies? No, no. Yes, many companies. Many companies would rather operate. Okay, would rather operate. Uh -huh. uh, once the product is in the decline stage. Um, no. mm, not exactly. As Would rather operate as a premium option. Excellent. Yes. As a premium option. Premium option. Uh -huh. Once the product is in the decline stage. Once the product is in the decline Decline's stage. Very good. Correct. Okay. And the last one. Okay. The last one. Let me go ahead and just. This one is kind of long. Mm. Okay. What about the last one? Um? Many. More companies, more companies will rather become the low cost provider of a product with great caution about price wars. Correct. Excellent. Okay. So it should go in this way. Let me uh, share it. Okay. Like this, yeah. Let me just okay, like that, guys. Look at that, teacher. Yes, it's the the exercise five in the platform. Um, when you write this sentence, um, is bad because. With a great, yes, me, me da error. Entonces, aunque la oración la esté copiando tal cual, me dice que está mala. Um, and have you tried to add a? Sí, cuando la puse así, me la dio correcta. Uh -huh. With a great caution. Yes, okay, that, that is another thing that, yes, it is. Thank you, Kenny. All right, that is actually incorrect. Uh, on the platform. So in order for you to have it correct, we need to add A. <laughs> Even though we don't see it, we need to add A with a grade, okay? On the platform, right? Okay, guys. Then let me see, mm, what else? Well, basically that's pretty much about this topic. You just need to remember um, what we covered today, right? Do not forget the structure. Yeah, the structure for would much rather. Yeah, would much rather. To give this intensity to the idea. Okay. All right, let's move. I'm going to clear all drawings, all right? So let's move and let's take the last listening quiz, okay? Let's take the last listening quiz. Let me send it so you can take it. Give me one second. Okay, there you go. The passcode is listening. The passcode is listening. Okay, let me know once you're done so I can um, play the recording. Yeah. 
Okay. Okay, perfect. Guys, I'm going to play this uh, three times. Okay, it's really short. Three times. Here we go. Hi, sweetie. Welcome home. We're ready to eat. Well, there's something I... Uh, we have salmon oh. and your favorite salad. Oh, yeah, that sounds um, great. What's what's the deal? I worked really hard. And look, look, for dessert, I made an apple pie. Well, under most circumstances... Huh, what's... You, I've never made a pie before. It took me like three hours. Well, to be honest... <laughs> What's wrong? What? Don't you like my cooking? No, 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 no. I worked pretty hard. I know, I know, I know. But to be honest, I just had a hamburger, fries in a chocolate shake. Why? I, I mean, Why? I'm sorry. I didn't know. I told you this morning I was making something nice. Oh. Didn't you listen? I'm sorry. I forgot. I mean, wait. Serious? Yeah, wait, wait, wait. What are you doing? Why are you putting the food in my shoes? So you can enjoy it as you walk to work tomorrow. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Okay. The second time. Hi, sweetie. Welcome home. We're ready to eat. Well, there's something I... Uh, we have salmon oh. and your favorite salad. Oh, yeah, that sounds um, great. What's... What's the deal? I worked really hard. And look, look, for dessert, I made an apple pie. Well, under most circumstances... Huh, what's... You, I've never made a pie before. It took me like three hours. Well, to be honest... <laughs> what's wrong? What, don't you like my cooking? No, 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 no. I worked really hard. I know, I know, I know. But to be honest, I just had a hamburger, fries, in a chocolate shake. <laughs> Why? I, I mean, Why? I, I'm sorry. I didn't know. I told you this morning I was making something nice. Oh. Didn't you listen? I'm sorry. I forgot. I mean, wait. Serious? Yeah, wait. Wait, wait. What are you doing? Why are you putting the food in my shoes? So you can enjoy it as you walk to work tomorrow. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Okay. The last time, okay? Just in case you uh, couldn't hear it. Hi, sweetie. Welcome home. We're ready to eat. Well, there's something I... Uh, we have salmon oh. and your favorite salad. Oh, yeah. That sounds um, great. What's what's the deal? I worked really hard. And look, look, for dessert, I made an apple pie. Well, under most circumstances... Huh, what's... You, I've never made a pie before. It took me like three hours. Well, to be honest... <laughs> What's wrong? What, don't you like my cooking? No, 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 no. I worked pretty hard. I know, I know, I know. But to be honest, I just had a hamburger, fries, in a chocolate shake. <laughs> why? I, I mean, why? I'm sorry. I didn't know. I told you this morning I was making something nice. Oh. Didn't you listen? I'm sorry. I forgot. I mean, wait. Serious? Yeah, wait. Wait, wait. What are you doing? Why are you putting the food in my shoes? So you can enjoy it as you walk to work tomorrow. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Okay, guys. I got most of you already. So I can see that uh, most of you got 100, okay? Most of you. I think that the, it was not uh, that difficult, right? Okay, let me see. Okay. She's angry. <laughs> yes, she was really angry, right? Okay. All right, let's continue, guys. We are almost done with our class. So right now, what we are going to do is that I'm going to ask you a couple of questions just to see if you remember at the present perfect tense. Yeah. So, Luis Miguel, how many countries have you traveled to? Only four. Okay. Can you please mention them? Me Me Mexico, Guatemala, Nicaragua, and Panama. All right. Um, what famous person have you seen? What what? What famous person have you seen? 
only Tony. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> and can you tell us what interesting food have you eaten? Um, 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 in, I don't know, many. <laughs> Yeah, and lobster. I don't know uh, what lobster. lobster. Yeah, lobster. <laughs> okay, perfect. All right, and Nelly, what languages have you studied? Um, I have studied um uh, English and French. English and French. All right, and can you let us know where have you lived? I have lived in uh, Santa Rosa, Lima City. Okay, all right. Maris, can you let us know what languages have you studied? Uh, I studied uh, a little languages in Korean. Korean. Oh my God, really, Maurice? Yeah, I did. Okay, Maurice, can you say hi in Korean? Repeat, please. Yes, can you say hi? Hello. Yeah. 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 Okay. I, I visited Korea, Seoul, Korea. Okay. No, I mean, can you say hi or hello in Korean? In the language, yeah, say it. Say, it. Uh, I don't remember. It's the uh, I say behind your foot. Okay, yeah, say who that. knows? Who knows how, how, how to say hi or hello in Korean? I think so. it's honey. I say, hey <laughs> guys, okay. All right. Very, difficult. Yeah. Very difficult, right? Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, Carla, have you ever swum in the ocean? No. I can't swim. <laughs> oh, you can't swim. Okay, so now you haven't. <laughs> Maida, have you ever failed a test? And yes, I have when I when I was a child, I played in the test of mathematica. <laughs> On math. On test. math math. Yes. Math test. Okay. Jonathan, have you ever slept for more than 12 hours? No, I haven't. You haven't. No, okay. I, I maybe eight hour or nine. Or nine. And you, Tony, have you ever slept for more than twelve hours? Yes. When we have uh, that three or three hours, honey. Three or not, not. Okay, Tony. No, when 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 I have uh, more stress and um, yeah. we had a. Uh, two or three weeks without stopping my work. Yeah, um, I remember that one day uh, I slept for 18 hours uh, because I, I, um, I was very uh, busy, occupied and stressed. And stressed, mm -hmm. okay. 18 hours, oh my God. 18 hours, and, uh, almost one hours. day. Only I one. slept one one day. Oh my god! <laughs> one day. <laughs> yes, when when I I've been sick for COVID. Ah yes, with COVID, it's true. Okay, that is understandable, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, guys. Okay, just because of the time, we are going to stop right here, but I'll see you back tomorrow. Um, Carlos Vladimir, are you here? Yes, teacher. Okay, can you please stay with me? 
Yes. All right, perfect. Then the other ones, thank you very much for connecting today. I'll see you back tomorrow. I hope you have a good night and rest, guys. Thank you very much. All right. Good night. Thank you. Good, good, night. Night. good night. All right. Good night, guys. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Take care. Bye. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Bye bye. Good night, Emerson. Bye bye. Take care. Bye bye. Take care. All right. Carlos, how are you? How do you feel, Carlos? I am fine, teacher, because uh, I fight tired yeah. because this day was very busy in the work. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think that it is always busy, right? I think yeah. that it is always. Yes. Okay, Carlos. Okay, now let me ask you, okay, um, how do you feel with our classes? How do you feel with the topics? How do you feel with the dynamics? I know that we have been, um, you know, learning for, I, I, I'm not sure if I, let me see, this one is intermediate three. Uh, were you in intermediate one with me? Yes. Also intermediate one, two, and three. So we have oh. around two months and in a week, right? Let's call it like that. Um, then how do you feel with our classes? How do you feel with the English that you have uh, acquired? I mean, tell me about your, your, your feedback, right? Okay, for example, uh, I like this topic, uh, present perfect, um, because I, I have studied English for since 2018 mm -hmm. at UCA. Okay. I'll have uh, 20 models. Okay. But, uh, como no lo practica, se me olvidó. Oh, since I didn't practice it, since I didn't practice it, I forgot. Yes, I didn't practice, I forgot. You forgot? Uh, yes. E, but I, for example, I would, uh, the topic that I, would rather is mm -hmm. it is saying the I prefer. Yes. Because is is more polite. This I like this topic too. But como no tengo suficiente tiempo, me cuesta. Hoy veces vengo a la mitad de la clase manejando. Mm -hmm. Ahí no es que me cuesta. Voy poniendo 50 y 50 de atención. Okay. Yes, I understand. Mm -hmm. Yes, sometimes it's because of the time, right? That you don't have like, yes, okay, I understand, Carlos. But I think that uh, to get a vacation, but I to learn speak English with you. Okay. Oh, excellent. Okay. Yes. I think that, uh, you know, the English language is more practice than, than anything yeah. else, right? You need to practice, 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 practice. So, okay. Um, I have seen that you participate whenever you have like the opportunity, you participate and that is good. Okay. That is good that you participate. What I can recommend you is that I want you to, if you cannot participate a lot because you are driving or because you are probably kind of tired, right? Try to speak to yourself in English, yeah, during the okay. day. Mm -hmm. Try to speak to yourself in English so you can get that fluency because if you don't practice, so you are going to lose fluency, yeah? Okay. Yes. Um, all right. So let me ask you about the platform. Do you have any issue with the platform? No, I don't have problem with the platform. Okay. Um, would you like me to include something else in the classes? Yes. Okay. Uh, I, oh, yeah. For example, uh, the first class, I don't take complete the class because I seek uh, the next day, uh, the yesterday, mm -hmm. yesterday, I view, I view. I watched. I watched uh, the the first the class. Oh, the okay. Perfect. Mm -hmm. And okay. And would you like me to include something else? I mean, something else in the class, like readings, uh, writing, or uh, do you think that everything is okay? 
no. No? Okay. All right. Perfect. Okay. Um, do you have any question about uh, the topics right now? Any doubts? No. No? Okay. No. Everything is clear. Yes. Okay. Perfect. So I want you to try to um, participate more. Okay. Whenever you can participate more. Sometimes um, I'm, I'm not sure if you are driving or if you are probably busy, right? Yeah. So just let me know because sometimes whenever I ask volunteers, I want you to participate, right? So I can call out your name and they can say, Carlos Vladimir, help us, right? Okay. Uh -huh. okay? okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay, very good. So Carlos, that's pretty much for today. If you don't have any okay. question, we are going to stop right here. You may go ahead and rest, okay? Okay. Thank you. Goodbye. I'll see you back tomorrow. Goodbye. Bye. Bye-bye.